Deep in the jungles of Africa, some bongo drums were pounding. Birds were flapping, coconuts tapping. The scenery is quite astounding. Welcome to Molly's world. She's a cheeky chimpanzee. The problem, though, you ought to know, she thinks she's like you and me. And so the tale begins as it slowly unravels. Listen well to the story I tell, and we'll take you on Molly's travels. Hi, everybody. I'm Molly Monkey. I live in the jungle in tree number three. I eat bananas for breakfast and lunch. My favourite drink is pineapple punch. My thick fur keeps me very warm. I feel snug when there's a storm. I exercise. I swing in trees. I hang from my arms with the greatest of ease. The jungle is home to noisy critters. The night sky is clear. The stars all glitter. Days are filled with scorching sun. I play in water holes. It's such fun. There's lots to do, but I've done it all. Oh, why can't I play with a bat and ball? I'm so fed up with jungle life. I'd rather eat bananas with a fork and knife. So it's simple. She's had enough. She wants to try all the human stuff, to hit a ball and games like that, to have human friends who will phone for a chat. Molly's often up to no good. Her friends want her to behave if she could. But what's a mischievous monkey to do when she dreams about living with someone like you? Sizzle the snake slithered by, quite distressed, with an ache so bad that it couldn't get rest. Molly advised him to see Doctor Z, a fantastic doctor whose service is free. And so the snake slithered off, with a moan and a groan and a cough. He apparently had a bad belly ache. He's doing fine now, for goodness sake. Just by mistake. 
snake. I bumped into a snake and it wormed and it squirmed with a bad belly ache. Just by mistake, I bumped into a snake and it wormed and it squirmed with a bad belly ache. For goodness sake, have you seen a sick snake? Have you seen a sick snake with a bad belly ache? It'll be in a bad mood and we'll go off its food. That is a snake with a bad belly ache. Just by mistake, I bumped into a snake and it wormed and it squirmed with a bad belly ache. Just by mistake, I bumped into a snake and it wormed and it squirmed with a bad belly ache. It will try hard to hiss, but will sound just like this. That is a snake with a bad belly ache. <laughs> Under a tree, Molly sat, feeling glum. She sadly misses her dad and mum. An angry fire destroyed their old home. Her parents fled. Now she's alone. She hopes they'll find her and reunite. It's lonely by yourself, night after night. Although she's made friends along the way, she knows she'll be leaving them soon, someday. The whispering wind disturbs the night. The silvery moon casts a blanket of light. Leaves are rattling in the tree above. Bluebirds are singing songs of love. Another night was passing by. Molly looked up at the changing sky. She heard a noise up in the tree. A coconut was stuck, so she tried to set it free. There was one brown coconut sitting in the tree. One lonely coconut waiting to be free. I climbed the tree as high as could be. When I reached the top, I felt a bit dizzy. Oh, yeah, the coconut brown. Tried to free, but you couldn't fall down. Oh, we all the coconut brown. Tried to free, but you couldn't fall down. There was one brown coconut sitting in the tree. One lonely coconut waiting to be free. A snake slithered by and wrapped around. The coconut stayed, but the snake fell down. Oh, we all the coconut brown. Tried to free, but you couldn't fall down. Oh, we all the coconut brown. Tried to free, but you couldn't fall down. There was one brown coconut sitting in the tree. One lonely coconut waiting to be free. A giraffe passed by as hard as it tried. Couldn't free the coconut, so it sat aside. Oh, we all the coconut brown. Tried to free, but you couldn't fall down. Oh, we all the coconut brown. Tried to free, but you couldn't fall down. There was one brown coconut sitting in the tree. One lonely coconut waiting to be free. An elephant stopped. It was ever so nice. But it couldn't offer any advice. Oh, we all the coconut brown. Tried to free, but you couldn't fall down. Oh, we all the coconut brown. Tried to free, but you couldn't fall down. Oh, we all the coconut brown. Tried to free, but you couldn't fall down. Oh, we all the coconut brown. Tried to free, but you couldn't fall down. Tried to free, but you couldn't fall down. Molly shook the coconut one last time. It was almost morning and the sun began to shine. The coconut dropped, but Molly fell too. Ouch! She landed in the flower bed and sneezed. Achoo! Her friend showed up. What a nice surprise. 
They invited her to play, but she said with teary eyes, "I'm not much fun. I think I'll take a rest." This is not like Molly. She's always full of zest. She shared her dream with her friends who listened. She smiled through teary eyes that glistened. They said goodbye and went on their way. Molly put her head down, and there she lay. She fell asleep and began to dream of rivers and mountains with fast-flowing streams. There were many bubbles that would float her away, far from the jungle, far from today. Was floating in her bubble dream. Strangely, there was no jungle green, no trees, no waterholes, lions or snakes, no noisy critters to give her the shakes. The bubbles kept floating her higher and higher, until one went pop on a telegraph wire. Down she fell in a bullfighting ring. I wonder what country Molly was in.